Hi there, and welcome to this video on how to factorise quadratics, but this time using the alternative method. So, this method is particularly useful because it allows us easily to solve, or sorry, I should say factorise, the next level up from this when we put a coefficient of x squared, basically a number in front of the x squared. Now, we're going to start it very, very similar. We'll always look at the constant term and we're going to write down the factor pairs of that number and then we look to see which of these factor pairs we need to make this coefficient of x. Now in this example it's quite clear to see that it's 2 and 6 we can make an 8 out of 2 and 6 only and we have to plus both of those. So this is where this method starts to be different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this 8x into a 2x and a 6x like this. So I've rewritten this expression, but instead of writing 8x, I've written a positive 2 and a positive 6 because they are the factor pairs that I can make it with. Now we're going to look at them in two terms only, and I'm going to factorize fully these two terms. So you should be able to see that x is the highest common factor, so I can take that outside of the bracket. I need an x inside, and I need to multiply this x by 2 to make my last term here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I've got to factorize this fully. 6 is the highest common factor, and a positive 6. So positive 6, brackets. Of course, I need an x, and I need to multiply that by 6. Sorry, by 2 to make 12. Now, what I'm now going to do is look at this and make my final answer. So you should be able to see that these two parts, the highest common factors, they're going to make our first bracket. And the bracket parts of this expression, if done correctly, will always be the same. If you get some sort of different answer, you've made a mistake. They're always going to be the same, and this is the second bracket. And there we have it. And if you expand this, you will get back to this. So it's an alternative method for factorising, but it's going to be really useful when we have coefficients of x squared. Now, you should be thinking, what happens if we put the plus 6 there and the 2x there? Watch. So if I do it the other way around, do exactly the same thing, factorise these two terms, so x outside, but this time I have plus 6. You can see what's going to happen now, hopefully. If I do the same here, 2 is the highest common factor. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 6. So the bits on the outside, the highest common factors, form our first bracket, and the repeated bracket forms the second bracket. You can see they're the other way around, but they are exactly the same answer. Let's have a look at another one. This one's going to be a bit harder because of the negatives. So, factors of 15, write them out. Which of these pairs can I make the positive 2 from? It has to be 5 and 3. And how do I make that positive 2? Well, a positive 5 take away a 3. So I'm going to rewrite this 2x as minus 3x and a positive 5x. It doesn't matter which way around because in the next part I'll do it the other way. So, Look at the first two terms and the last two terms separately. Factorise fully. x is the highest common factor. So I need another x to make x squared. And I need a 5 to make 5x. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Generally you're always going to take out whatever this sign is at this part. Now if you think about the expand and simplify when it looked like two brackets like this this will make a little bit more sense. So I'm going to take out a negative 3 because 3 is the highest common factor of 3 and 15. Open my brackets. I need to times it by an x to make minus 3x. And if you remember what I said, the brackets must always be the same. So if I put a plus 5 in here, will this give me this negative 15 term that I'm looking for? Yes, because a negative times a positive, when the signs are different, it's always a negative answer. So, the highest common factors, the bits outside, make the first bracket. 
and the repeated bracket forms the second one. And there we have it. I'll do it the same, but I'll swap these two terms round. Factorise again, so it's going to be x times x, but this time x times 3. 5 is the highest, so it's a plus 5, so I'm going to take that out. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Remember, you must always have a repeated bracket. Highest common factors form the first one, and the repeated bracket is the second one. Now, I must say, sometimes the only thing you can take out is a 1, which isn't what we normally do for factorising, but be, be prepared, sometimes there's nothing, there's no highest common factor apart from a 1, but you will always get a repeated bracket, and it will always work. So have a go at this method, and then when you're ready, I'll show you some more when the coefficient here. That makes it a little bit harder, but this method, it will always work.